Hello Park Meadows and welcome back to week three of February 2021. We're excited to be with yes. you. James, what have we been learning in February up to this point? Well, we have been having an amazing month so mm. far talking about kindness. And what is kindness? Well, kindness is showing others that they are valuable by how we treat them. So there is a verse that mm -hmm. also goes along with that, right? And it's found in the book of Colossians. Colossians 3.12 that says, You are God's chosen people. You are holy and dearly loved. So put on tender mercy and kindness as if they were your clothes. Don't be proud. Be gentle and patient. Mm. All right. Very good. Very good. So, you know what? When we really look at that verse and we are kind of looking at this month, you know, it is important how we treat other people, right? With what we say and what we do. And sometimes it's easier said talking about it than doing it sometimes. But you know what? When we are doing it, how often should we do it? Well, that's, that's an excellent question, James, because actually we're going to talk about that today. What? Yeah, very convenient. Well... So today we're actually going to talk about you know how much kindness or how much should we do for other people to show kindness. In fact, we're going to talk about a very very famous sermon that was given oh. by a very very famous guy. Oh, was it Billy Graham? It was not Billy Graham. Oh, all right. So all right. this very famous sermon was called the Sermon on the Mount. And um, it was given by Jesus. Yes. Jesus is pretty famous, I've heard. Very so, famous. <laughs> so the yeah, most famous. Some would say. Yes. So Super fan of him. <laughs> yeah, so he had all these crowds of people around him, and he decided this is a good time to start teaching them, to start mm -hmm. telling them what it is that he's all about, right? And what it is to follow Jesus and what that means. So he sits down in kind of this huge mountain area and he starts giving this very famous sermon. Now if you guys want to read it on your own, it's found in Matthew chapter 5 or it's also found in Luke. Mm -hmm. But what we're looking at today is in the one in Matthew. And so he sits down and gives this First gospel. sermon on all of these different things, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's super famous. There's a lot in there. But today we're going to focus in on one little part of it. And so Jesus was talking about uh, showing kindness, he says this very famous line. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to open our Bibles and look there, if you guys want to do it with me, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 41. I will also look in my Bible. How good are your sword drills, James? I, not, not as great, because I, this is not a <laughs> typical <laughs> Bible. <laughs> Well, anyways, it says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 41, <clears throat> If someone forces you to go one mile, you should go with him two miles. Now, that seems like a very strange thing, right? I think we've all kind of heard the expression, go the extra mile for someone else, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of a principle that we've accepted. But here's the thing. Is that seems like a really weird thing to say. If someone forces you to go one mile, you should go a second mile. I don't know about you, but not not very many people. I don't actually think anybody has ever forced me to to go one mile. And so to, to go one mile or go one extra mile. Well, uh, see, you were supposed the to go the first mile. We're supposed to go the extra mile, but I don't think anybody's even forced me to do the first one. Really? So it's a little bit weird. But here's Never the done thing: track and field. Uh, no, <laughs> I did shot put. All right. <laughs> and discus. <laughs> and so here's the thing, is that Jesus was actually talking to something that went on during that time. So because Israel was under the rule of the Roman Empire, a Roman soldier could force a Jewish citizen to carry their stuff for one mile. Mm -hmm. They couldn't force them to do it all day, they couldn't force them to do it for forever, but for one mile they could force a citizen to carry their stuff. So that's what Jesus was talking about most that's likely. That's pretty far. That's, I mean, 1,600 meters. Yeah. It's a, it's a bit I mean, of ways. A mile, like just for some random person to just go like, hey, carry my stuff a mile. You know, it's like I'm in the middle of doing something. Maybe there's a reason that they didn't like being ruled by the Roman Empire. Yeah. 
Maybe there is. That might and be so, one. Yeah, so soldiers would often ask someone to go a mile with them. And so that's what Jesus was talking about. Now here's the thing. It wasn't just, okay, here's like my backpack. Just carry it, walk with me down the road for a mile. Soldiers had a ton with them. They would have had all of their armor, which was all yeah. most likely bronze worked, heavy, dense heavy. stuff, food, water, all of this stuff, right? So it would have been a heavy, heavy pack. So to take it even one mile was probably exhausting. And Jesus says that they should go one more, that they should do twice as much to show kindness to the soldier. Now this is crazy in a couple of different ways. Like I said, the Israelites didn't really like the Romans ruling over them. Nope. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't really particularly enjoy if someone came up and said, hey, you gotta carry this really heavy bag with me for a mile and you don't get choice. I wouldn't really like that very much. But Jesus smile says- Smile and nod. <laughs> Jesus says you should be kind to even those people, even the Romans. Even the Romans who force you to carry their bag, you should show extra kindness by going another mile. Mm. So this is pretty crazy stuff. That's a pretty insane statement that Jesus is making. So it's it a pretty of, tough one mm -hmm. to take, especially when we're talking about kindness and talking about being kind to a person, like maybe doing an extra mile for a friend. Mm -hmm. That might not be too bad, but he's talking about doing an extra mile for someone that you, you don't, don't really like, like. Yeah, no. and going like, I really hope that they're not in power uh, in time no. longer now. No. So <clears throat> this kind of begs the question, because we don't have Romans ruling over us nowadays, and we don't often get asked to carry a backpack a mile. Nope. So what do you think, James, maybe you can help us with this, is a modern day example of going that extra mile? That extra mile? Well, I would say uh, going along with maybe a little bit of that uh, picking up and, and carrying a load would be doing uh, like when your parents ask you to help them around with the housework, mm -hmm. right? Instead of just cleaning your room, you could go the extra mile and clean another room. Like the living well. room? Like the living room, the dining room, kitchen, your bathroom. Yeah. A lot of options. Your siblings' room, right? Brother or sister's room, help them out. Yeah, you that's know. a really good example. Lots of options to do. Uh, another could be like, oh, hey, um, can you um, help me for an hour mm -hmm. do some, like, shoveling? Well, Maybe, maybe it doesn't take an hour. Like after an hour, there's still work to be done, but you only said you're gonna do an hour. And then going like, oh, I'm out. Sorry, time, you said an hour. I gotta go, video games calling my name. <laughs> to do another hour. Or to go the extra mile and help them till it's actually completed. Mm -hmm. The idea is simple, right? When you show kindness, which we've already talked about, you should be showing a lot because it shows that you value people. You should show extra kindness. You should put some effort towards that because it makes others feel valuable, right? It does. Right? If I came over to James's house and he was like, hey, can you help me shovel the driveway? And I only was like, oh, yeah, I can do it for an hour. And then exactly an hour came up and we weren't even close to done. And I was just like, okay, bye. James would be like, thanks for the help, but like, <laughs> but if I stayed for that Still extra... Still got another half of a driveway. Right? <laughs> but if, like he said, if I stayed for that whole time and we finished the whole driveway, that's showing that I care about James, right? Yes. And he would feel valued. Mm -hmm. So that's the idea that Jesus is talking about. And as we go into our weeks, I want us to think about where we can go that extra mile with our friends, with our family, and especially as Jesus said, with people that we maybe don't get along with so great, mm. right? Because we have to show them that they're valuable too, because they are, yeah. right? And when we show kindness to them, we're showing Christ's kindness, because you know what? Christ loves them too. He might not love what they're doing, mm -hmm. but he loves them and he wants them to know about him. And we are to be examples, right? And we are to reflect Christ to others. So they're not looking at us, but they're looking at him. Absolutely. Well, James, would you like to pray for us to wrap up? Yes. Okay. Indeed. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you that you love us and that you care for us and that you gave uh, so many wonderful examples throughout your word. And we know that the Bible is 
truth. And when we look at that famous sermon, the most famous of all sermons, that sermon on that mount, and you talk about going that extra mile, may we look for opportunities to go the extra mile. Whether that's helping our parents, our friends, our um, grandparents, family members, or our teacher, or someone that's asking for our help. However we can do that extra mile. And may we not do it of going like, oh, fine, I'll do it just because you asked. But may we do it joyfully. And may we do it to reflect you to these others. We thank you for all that you have done and all that you are doing in our lives. And may we continue to shine for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Indeed. Well, I think we got another wonderful song for us all to be able to sing our praises, to lift our hands up to the Lord. So, till next time, take care and God bless. Bye, guys. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be thankful I want to be faithful I want to remember everything That the Lord has done I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to be, I want to be, I want to be I like to think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands